What's going on guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here, uh, coming at you guys with another Card Fight Vanguard uh, re kind of review, but it's kind of more of a opinion, or um, like a review. Yeah, it's I could say review. Yeah, let's go with a review. It's a review of the new Link Joker clan. So, the new Link Joker cards are quite devastating because of the lock mechanic, and if for all of the, those that you don't know what the lock mechanic does, and simply put that cards, like rear guards would become locked and they cannot be stood they cannot be replaced you cannot do anything with them not not even like for tachi like the best example is that like tachi kaze you'd think that you could kill it but you can't you can't get rid of it whatsoever until your end turn and then you can flip it back up so what does this do well for clans such as royal paladin it would kill them completely because you lose everything because these cards do not count as cards that are on the field. Well, they're on the field, but you can't... It's like It's kind of like saying that the spot has been taken. So, say your turn, you have this kind of setup. You attack, you attack, and all that. Your opponent turns comes. They decide to lock your Nehalem. He cannot come out next turn. So, in your next setup, you have that. And you can't replace this. So, what does that do? You lose one... You lose one attack, and you lose one, like, perhaps, uh, for decks like Tachikaze. Like, I, I keep on going back to the deck, but, like, if you lock that, you can't, they don't have stuff to sacrifice, so they have to make worse plays and everything. And the same thing with, like, perhaps Spectral Duke, because then you lose things, and then Royal Paladin and everything. Oh, gosh. The, like, the lock mechanic is quite devastating, because by the end of it, your field is gonna look something like, uh... Like, it'll look pretty sad by the end of it. Uh, let's see. Like, when you get to grade 3, it's going to be very, very sad looking. Because some cards can do really devastating abilities, such as, like, lock 2. So your opponent could lock 2. And then they could lock other cards like this, or they just leave it. But then this leaves you with the op, And you can't even move this. You can't, you can't switch these. And not even Basil or anything can switch, so like Aqua Forces, like Basil and everything, just oh gosh, don't even do, don't even try. So this significantly hinders decks because now Persona Blast can be activated through the end as easily because now it's just a 10k block for two pass most of the time. So removing the boosters is a big deal too, because then that allows you to save more cards in your hand. And then they can't even intercept on your turn. So the lock mechanic deals a lot of damage to the decks. And I, f I feel like... I've, I've said it before, and I, I'll say it again now, but like I feel like it's going to be a really good deck, but I just don't feel that it's, it's going to have the support it needs until BT13 to really shine. So I don't think we'll see it as well played as it will be in BT13 which is the let's say like the climax set because there was like BT05 and BT9 for like card fight vanguard seasons so that is my opinion on the take of the lock mechanic like it will be amazing but I'm thinking about making it and because Kaida uses it you know evil Kai but Kai still uses it and uh, stuff like that I probably will make it if I have the chance and I have the time and Apart from that, the link, the lock mechanic, we have to find out more about it, but as it stands, the lock mechanic is probably the most devastating thing that's happening right now, and I think every clan is probably going to get something of a lock or reverse cards. Reverse cards are going to make the de our clans so, like, the new Narukami clans, like, the more, like, up-to-date clans a lot more broken, because break rides are coming back now because of cross break rides where you just like you have the original and then you reverse but it's also a, cro a cross ride card at the bottom so you break ride and you cross ride at the same time oh gosh it's gonna be just yeah if you guys watched any of like the uh old vanguard stuff holy cow it's not gonna be crazy it might be a lot really crazy at some point because like you're gonna be swinging for like 43 double crit if you don't have a perfect guard then you lose pretty much and if you have just Dragonic Descendant, you pretty much lose anyways, because unless if you have, like, two perfect guards. Oh, boy. It's going to be very scary format when that comes to English. That will be probably when you'll see a lot of people start quitting. 
but I don't know if I'm gonna. I I things have yet to be seen for what I'm gonna do. So uh, I still will be uploading card fight Vanguard stuff, and you can uh, be assured on that. So don't fret, guys. And until the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment or talk on the lock mechanic, and I hope you guys like this video, subscribe, and help me get those views back from my lost spectral duke deck profile. Yeah, I know I've been saying it a lot, but I really am kind of annoyed by that, and it's my fault, but still, I do apologize for the audio as well. I've been trying to fix that. And anyways, guys, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro signing off.